everyone. Today is Thursday and another day into post-surgery. So there you go. Um, I didn't have a great night. It's the most painful part of it is this top bit here. I think where they've, because they've screwed into the um, the ball joint. That is the most painful bit. And the reality of the pain is kicking in now. Um, but yeah, I'm a tough cookie. It's not going to beat me. I'm on the pain medication, so I kind of alternate between tramadol and paracetamol. That's how I'm going. I don't want to be on tramadol all the time because that makes me away with the fairies and I say stupid things. Um, like when I'm asleep. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but when I was in hospital, after I'd had the morphine, I was, um, you know those things that I had on my legs that they pump up and they keep the circulation going in your legs so you don't get deep vein thrombosis. Well, when I was asleep, I was shouting at Elsie, our dog, telling her to keep still because it felt like, to me, it felt like she was under the under the bed in and like moving around by my legs. How funny though. But yeah, it does hurt more than it's hurt so far right now. Um, but I'm getting there, so I'm sort of spending as long as I can in bed today, but obviously I'm gonna move about as well. So I will be getting up and going downstairs. But for the moment, because I didn't sleep too well, I'm gonna see if I can nod back off again. Chris has bought me some breakfast. I'll show you what he's got me, bless his heart. Right, so he asked me what I fancied. I fancied a bowl of porridge. So I've got some porridge here and some fruit salad there, which I fancied because it's refreshing. And um, he's just making me one crumpet to go with this. And then I won't eat again until maybe sort of four hours time. So I can get a bit of rest in between. Um, yeah, I've got my headphones there. That's Elsie where she sleeps. Teddy if he sleeps on the bed. Um, that's what I put my phone in. I've got my drink there. And I've got my hand on a pillow, which I'm moving around. Yeah, hi my loves. I, I'm just feeling so overwhelmed by the lovely messages I've had from so many of you wishing me well. Do you know, it means so much to me. I've had so many tears when I've read them because it's just emotional. I'm feeling a little emotional today. Um, I think that's probably anaesthetic and stuff. It tends to affect us like this, doesn't it? But I am feeling a little emotional today. I'm also in a lot more pain today. Um, but I just feel so blessed to have all of you. I just feel so blessed, honestly. I I am just one lucky lady. Thank you, all of you, so much for your beautiful, beautiful messages. Okay, guys, so I've come downstairs. Chris has done my hair. He's put it up in a little ponytail because it's catching on the Velcro. So I've just popped a little scarf look under there because it's got a little rough edge of Velcro which is catching me all the time. Um, I'm actually going to make a drink. So I'm going to make Chris a coffee and I'm going to have a, you know how lately I've been into my um, sort of ginger tea? Well, I've bought one that's spiced ginger. So I'm going to try that one. It smells like Christmas. It smells amazing. Um, so I'm going to make that. I'm going to make him a coffee. Then I'm going to sit down and chill a bit. Painkillers have kicked in for the moment. So that's why I've got up moving about, you know, get the old blood flowing, etc. Um, so yeah, going to make the drinks. Excuse stating me, guys. But, um, I've only got one shoulder up, you know. 
as his life at the moment. Make Chris his coffee, which means I have to move, ooh, which means I have to move you a little bit. That's it. It's like being literally back to square one when I first did it and now. Managing and everything. I'm not over doing it though, I'm not going to overdo it, I want it to heal properly, you know? So that's the little tea bag that I'm having in it. Oh gosh, it smells lovely. It smells very cinnamony. I'll show you these new cups. You know what I'm like for a new mug, I love them. Oh, get a stir. Mine, I won't. I'll just let it sit in there and infuse. Is, is our Chrissy? Morning. <laughs> I'll just show you the mugs, guys. Come on up here. What's that, babe? I don't know. Look at these. So you've got dog dad and dog mum. How cute are they? I've been um, calling dog quite a few times. I thought, <laughs> thankfully, I have never been called a dog, <laughs> thankfully. Um, and then these, these are for dinner We're tonight. Going. They're on the chair there, all right, oh, on yeah. the seat, yeah? Um, the, this is what we've got for dinner tonight. So if you remember, I did this, I prepped a lot of meals before hospital. Um, so we've got chili beef here, so that's what we're going to be having tonight. We're going to have it on a jacket potato with a bit of salad on it, aren't we, Chris? Yes, we are. Chris is doing it, bless him. Right then, shall we go in the other room? I'll get a bit of papers upstairs. What bit of papers? Tell me what to do. With what? Your tablets? Did you move it? I haven't touched anything. Oh, no. Oh, maybe. What have I put inside there? Yeah, I might have done. It might be in there. Some, some constructions instructions. Is yeah, it? Okay. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at my beautiful flowers. That's what you got to take to the hospital, isn't it? Yeah. My beautiful flowers from our Amanda. I love them. Look at the colour. So now I've got to decide where to keep them because I don't want them to. I, what I don't want is for them to be too near the radiator. But I want to be able to see them all the time. Um, well, I guess they ought to stay here, really. Can I put them on the breakfast bar? Yeah. Where are you sitting? On the sofa. On the sofa. Yeah. So let's walk this way. Walk this way. Look. Chris has lit the candles, bless him. And up there, he's watching one of his cop programs, which it changed now that I'm downstairs. Yep, he's watching the soaps from last Hi, Marie. Night. Thank you for your beautiful card, your handmade card. It arrived this morning and it sat pride of place on my radiator cover just by me on the sofa. It's beautiful. Thank you. There we go. That's a lovely card. For Marie there. Mousy, what are you doing? Oh, here comes Teddy Two Shoes. Teddy Two Shoes. <laughs> oh, it's Chris with my lemonade. I'm just going to catch up on the bake, bake off. Yeah, the bake off. Because I haven't watched that. You haven't watched it either, have you? No, I haven't watched any of our, our joint programmes, as it were. <laughs> yeah, saved him <laughs> when I was back. I oh, know, look at his face. Of course, Elsie's fascinated by this. And she wants to keep, obviously, licking it. It's what they do, isn't it, dogs? You know, try, try to heal you. But, you know, obviously, I can't lay near it. But um, she's just, like, making all these little noises. Like she wants to get near it. <laughs> Bless her little cotton socks, eh? So Chris is making me lunch and himself. So I'm having a cheese, onion and tomato sandwich. What are you having, Chris? Oh. Yeah, you're having the same as me? I'm having cheese and cucumber. Oh, okay. He's having cheese and cucumber. I feel a bit jealous now. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my glasses just literally fell off me. Like the queen, okay. 
Um, my glasses, did you see them just fall off my head and go on the floor? For goodness sake.